This is the ultimate battery test of Google Pixel 8. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome, and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Today we'll do a day in the life test. We will test this phone for gaming, video, maps, 5G, Wi-Fi, and so on. We will burn the battery of this phone for the whole day. But before we do that, let's check the settings of this phone. This battery test is really early. We're starting 6, 12 a.m. And as you can see, we have 100% battery life on Pixel 8. This phone is connected to our Talos 5G network and Wi-Fi 5 network. Screen brightness will be set to middle around 50 to 52%. We are turning off adaptive brightness and setting the screen timeout to one minute. We will also put this phone to light mode. So all individual pixels will light up. Font and display size is on the smaller side. We will turn on smooth display for the highest refresh rate. And since we're using a tempered glass, we will also use the screen protector mode on. We are setting the volume to 50% and the phone will ring for phone calls and notification. So I think that's it for the setup. Let's start the ultimate day in the life battery test. So our first test is the GPS and map test using this phone. It's around 618. We will play an early basketball game for two hours. I will try to record it for you to see the video quality of Google Pixel 8. I'm using the rear camera of Pixel 8. Normally, before we go, we check the tires of the car on winter because sometimes it deflates. So before we go, we double check. So right now it's around 6.20. We're warming up the car for the next five minutes and then we will drive for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, so it's now 6.51 a.m. and we drove for 27 minutes and we still have 96% remaining on the battery. There's a 4% drop in almost 30 minutes of GPS using 5G network. We are testing the rear camera of Pixel 8 in low light condition. We're actually a bit late on this basketball game. It started 6.30 but it's now 6.50 uh, because of the charging speed of this phone. It has a slower charging speed compared to Xiaomi Redmi no 13 pro plus 5g with 120 watts hypercharge so that's the caveat of having this phone although it's flagship it has a slower charging speed so yeah we will try to record this game for the next one and a half hours and we will check the battery life of this phone Right now we're using the selfie camera after two hours of basketball game we still have 93 percent remaining on pixel 8. we just started the car and we will wait for five to ten minutes for it to warm up what i like about pixel 8 is the camera uh, the software experience and even the battery life i feel like it's not the best battery life on a smartphone but for a flagship phone on my digital life this will last me for a day of use we are now driving and we're using the Google Pixel 8 for maps. It's now 90%. So for an hour of maps, two hours of standby time, and a little bit of vlogging on 4K video recording, you will burn around 10% on this Pixel 8. I got this phone pretty cheap on a deal. Comparing this with iPhone and Samsung, this is one of the cheapest plans you will have on a network or carrier. I actually got this for free on a $50 plan. And that plan includes 70 gigs of data, unlimited call and text, and the phone itself. So after two years, everything is paid off. So I think in comparison with iPhone 15 or Samsung Galaxy S24, this is a good deal. Still talking about battery performance, the charging speed of this phone is not as fast as the other flagship phones. And even just comparing this with the mid-range category like the Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro or Note 13 Pro Plus with 67 watts and 120 watts of charging speed, the charging speed of this phone is just okay. I mean, it's still fast, but not as blazing fast as what you can see on even a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And lastly, in terms of camera quality, I like the image coming from Pixel 8. 
and the video performance is pretty solid. This phone is comparable with Samsung and Apple and other flagship phones. If you want a phone for photography and vlogging, Pixel 8 is a really good choice. Okay, so we're home. We just drove for around 25 minutes and we still have 88% remaining on Google Pixel 8. So what's our plan for today? So we will do some browsing tests on this phone for an hour. I will wait for my wife. We will have a lunch date. And I will vlog that using the Google Pixel 8 using the ultra wide and the main sensor. And then this afternoon, we will do some video tests and gaming. Right now, we're doing the browsing test for the next two hours. This will not be continuous, but whenever we have time to check the social media and watch some reels, we will do it. Also, in the middle of my browsing test, my wife called me for the last 15 minutes before we go out. So something that's in addition on top of our browsing test. This is the ultra wide. This is the main sensor. Two times digital crop. And while we're eating lunch outside, we're continuously using this phone for browsing and watching YouTube shorts. So it's past noon and we're back home. We still have 66% remaining battery and it's now 1.23 p.m. Now we'll watch a two-hour movie on this phone. We will set the brightest to 50% and volume to 100% and we will be back after two hours. I should clarify, sorry. Um, I'm talking about you here, Junior. Only you. So after almost two hours of movie, it's now 337 and we still have 46% remaining battery. Now let's push the limits of TensorChip Gentry and we will do gaming for the next hour. You the turret. Just quickly looking at the settings, Mobile Legends can be played on ultra refresh rate and ultra graphics. So Tensor Tree can support games with high graphics performance. We will play and enjoy this game and we will be back after one hour. Alright, the sun is almost set. It's now 5.24 p.m. and we still have 15% remaining battery. Because we use this phone actively, we will do a couple of hours of standby time and watch YouTube short and Facebook reel for an hour and we will check the battery test results. Alright, after 2 hours of standby, we still have 12% remaining battery. This is our last test. We will browse social media and watch important videos like shorts and we will check the battery result. Most chaotic outro for not so this is the ultimate battery test of Google Pixel 8. Here's the result. So after a very busy day, we shoot a lot of 4K videos from the main sensor, selfie, and ultra wide. We use maps using GPS and 5G network for almost one and a half hour, an hour of browsing and social media, another hour for shorts and reels, and another hour for gaming, and almost two hours of video. Using this phone for almost 14 hours, we have a screen on time of 6 hours and 21 minutes, and we still have 1% remaining at the end of the day. 